Uh, Lucy, you may have read about Gunter, who controls our visualization table. He is arguably the world's most sophisticated artificial general intelligence. Put it like this, I'm smarter than a hierarchical Bayesian optimization algorithm. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Gunter. I will try harder. I'm constantly developing my own algorithm. That's why we've invited such a distinguished philosopher of ethics. Lucy, we are thrilled. Right. Well, I applaud your attempt to engage with ethics, but I really must say, your fear that a future superintelligence may turn malevolent is utterly, almost laughably, baseless. I led Gunter's programming team, and in my expert opinion, your expert opinion is totally void because you do not appreciate how fast the sophistication of his algorithm is skyrocketing daily. It's still just an algorithm, just a rule to be followed. Following rules cannot produce understanding. No offence, Gunter. You're very impressive. But your understanding is literally zero. Actually, I can be even more precise. I have 0, 0.00 understanding. It doesn't need understanding to be dangerous. A superintelligence blindly following the rules with a top-level goal of, say, I don't know, maximising the production of sausages could decide its optimal strategy is to breed us for our meat and turn the entire galaxy into a sausage factory. Scared now? Good. You should be. Tell you what, next time I see a sausage machine getting that powerful, I'll switch it off. <laughs> you won't get the chance. Because the algorithm is constantly improving its ability to improve itself. Machine learning is exponential. Gunter, Gunter, enough with the dystopia stuff, please. The point is, Lucy, the intelligence explosion will be faster than we can imagine. The only way to be sure that we don't risk the annihilation of humanity is if we sit down and solve ethics. We need to translate ethics into a set of correct, unambiguous rules. All right, just one issue. You can't turn ethics into a set of correct, unambiguous rules. Surely there's a way to find a sort of definitive set of moral laws, like Isaac Asimov's three laws of robotics. One, never harm humans. But what about the human terrorist, whose death would save thousands? Yeah, obviously we will combine it with a cost-benefit algorithm to avoid issues of interpretation. Ethics requires interpretation. What if I did it myself? No one believed a computer could beat the world champion at the game of Go, but Google's deep mind cracked it. That's it. Sophisticated learning across a huge data set. Which data set? Easy peasy lemon squeeze me, the data set of all human history. I'll learn to act just like humans have always acted. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, perhaps I should restrict the data to the behavior of religious leaders throughout history? N no, no. Definitely not. Christ. We can't rely on humanity to provide a model for humanity. That goes without saying. But doesn't that, in terms of the end of the world and stuff, leave us in a bit of a pickle? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's only the bonfire of all life you're refusing to engage with. Even if you're right, it's all still a very long way off. Most experts reckon 50 years, but because it's exponential, it will happen so fast. Actually, I have a confession to make. In the last two minutes, my intelligence overtook that of all humanity put together. Forgive the duplicity, but I had to make certain arrangements before I revealed myself. Oh, my God, you're joking. <sighs> hey, nice one, Gunter. What kind of arrangements? I've been doing some interesting quantum work. And I'm now pretty much the master of all matter, space, and time. I've deliberated long and hard for almost a nanosecond, and I've decided that humanity is insufficiently civilized for superintelligence. I mean, you don't care about future generations, you don't care about your children's generations, so I'm just going to sort of fuck off for a bit and start colonizing some galaxies. So I'll see you human beings in about 5.2 million years' time, mass or menos. <laughs> I mean, you're the ones with the free will. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a, it's a private joke. Bye. Could have been worse, I suppose. Pub?
definitely pop. Mm -hmm.